Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us today. So we're staying at the Three Flags RV Resort in Wildwood, Florida. And today we're gonna go for a little neighborhood drive. As always, we're gonna go from here to the Walmart, um, since that's like the main location everybody goes to. Right. Um, so we'll discover what's on the way from the campground to Walmart. So let's flip this camera around and get to driving. See you there. Well, first things first, we need to leave the campground. <laughs> so here we are exiting on to... 44 East awesome. to 301 or Main. They have a dual name depending on how Google Maps feels. <laughs> what mood she's in? Uh-huh. If you haven't been here before, 44 takes you to I-75. If you turn left here, you can go to I-75 south and north entrances. immediately out of the campground on both sides east or west um, it's pretty isolated just farmland not much to do or see but as we start approaching the main streets um, then you'll start to have more establishments over here on the right hand side there's actually an RV storage location But it's enormous. I actually think it's the manufacturer, like the factory, because the front building connects to like warehouses in the back. Um, and they serve ice cream and you can buy your chocolates there. Um, yeah, I think it'd be a cool place to stop by and check out. Who knows, maybe they give out tasters and do tours. <laughs> On our right hand side is a Circle King. This is actually the second cheapest in the area. The first cheapest is a 7-Eleven by Publix. Um, and then across from the Circle K on loose side, there's a CVS pharmacy. Across the street on each of the corners. Driver's side, there's a Sunnacle and 7-Eleven, which at the time of this video, it is $3.29 for regular gas, $5.27 for diesel, and an auto parts part store on my side, on the passenger side. So as you saw, Lou made a left on Main Street. Or 301 North. And here on our right hand side, we have Casa Agave, which is a Mexican grill. A Neurology Institute on the driver's side. O'Reilly's Auto Parts here on the passenger side and a bicycle shop trek there on the driver's side. We're just passing little um, an auto parts store, a Hungry Howie's and a Dollar General. 
and all of these other little buildings are basically medical facilities animal hospitals and storage there's a lot of medical facilities and uh, medical practitioners in this area there's a large hospital um, just a little bit east of uh, 44 um, past 301 it looks like a really big hospital and here on the passenger side we have a hardy's looks like they serve hot dogs and burgers i don't think we've ever been to a hardy's i don't think i've ever been to one no. and we're going to cross over a railroad track now the first time we stayed at wildwood when we were all the way in the back by the pasture we didn't hear the train at all and this time that we're staying in the front you can hear it but very faintly like barely barely hear it so this train is not a nuisance there is a butcher shop best meats here on the passenger side as well as a pawn shop that sells guns and then this plaza here on the drive on the passenger side has a save a lot has furniture store has um, a metro PCS a post office a post office an ace hardware shops but every time we've drive by here I don't I never see them open I just saw a bakery there and it looks open did it look open? yeah we've got family dollar here on the passenger side and church of Christ also here to my right it says trunk or treat trunk or treat they're probably going to do like a little trick-or-treating for the kids there it says october 30th 4 p.m till 6 p.m i've never heard Community the term invited trunk or treat i saw some posting like that on facebook not so long ago where a bunch of people had like their trunks decorated and people were walking by getting candy so over here on the driver's side there's a place called coney island drive-in we haven't been but i'm very curious to come because apparently I don't know if it's every Wednesday or the first Wednesday of the month. I have to look at the paperwork they gave us when they when we checked in. They said that there is an Elvis impersonator <laughs> singing there. Yeah, and I believe that that I don't know if that the Coney Island hot dog has been since 1960 in this area. Also, here on the right hand side is Oakwood Express. It is a smokehouse, and their food is delicious. We did come and eat there, so we enjoyed ourselves. It was very good. It was one of my cheat days. <laughs> from that overpass again there's more um, cow pastures over on our left you can see a bunch of cows over there and then here on our right there seems to be some type of shacks like really small homes um, yeah like a little cul-de-sac of homes Daryl's Diner on the right hand side. It's one of those places that is very unique to the area. <laughs> we'll find another Daryl's Diner anywhere, so we should check it out.
are just passing some single family homes. driver's side there is a Dairy Queen grill and chill so you can come get your sundaes ice cream cakes burgers hot dogs the burgers there are really good they're charred they're like char grilled we've got a circle K here to my right Going to Walmart is not an exciting drive. <laughs> um, I do find Save a Lot to be a lot closer, so if there's something that I need that I can get there, I just go there instead. And going to Publix, it's a much prettier scenery because that immediately after you pass Main going on 44, it basically changes. It's more scenic, much more big box stores. Publix is located at the villages, yeah. and the villages is heavily populated and commercialized, so you can pretty much find anything you need out there. Yeah. And it's not far. It's probably the Publix is probably, uh, I'd say, two miles away. Yeah, definitely closer than Walmart, and much prettier than going to save a lot. Much more pricier, <laughs> but prettier. on loose side the left hand side as well as a 7-eleven there on the corner um, and next to the 7-eleven there's an Aldi's one of my favorite grocery stores there's a sign there says the villages which is basically as soon as we turn right we're basically in the villages already which is why there's it's so commercialized so here on my side on the corner, there's a smoke shop, there's a nail salon, and there, there's a pho restaurant. This is where the pho place is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Across the street on the driver's side, there's a Wawa. And on the passenger side, there is a citrus um, fruit stand. Where you can go and get your oranges, your grapefruit, your juices, all that good stuff. It's called Jennings Citrus. Now there is another RV little storage facility over on Lou's side. And some sort of a park on my side. There's a children's playground and pickleball courts as well as an auto zone. Lou's passing a Firestone and a Verizon on her side. And there's an advanced auto parts on mine. So here we go. There's a sign that says we're in the villages. And now fast foods. There's an Arby's that she just passed. There's a little place here called Metro Diner. There's your McDonald's. And then a 
this little plaza there's a tropical cafe an urgent vet a nail salon a chinese restaurant and i think that was pizza yeah and new york style pizza right after you pass that mcdonald's you go ahead and make your left at the very first traffic light Right here in this corner, there's a steak and sh uh, steak and shake. <laughs> Now this Walmart, I believe if I'm not mistaken, also has a wine and spirits, a separate entrance. They do sell groceries and then of course it's your regular department store where you can get all sorts of other items to include camping stuff and automobile stuff. RV back there. Oh yeah, there's a big class A pulling out of the back, mm -hmm. towing a jeep. In this area, the fun ends early. Mm -hmm. By about 8 o'clock, it seems almost like a ghost town. Yeah, <laughs> everything closes early. There's a lot of golf cart activity here too. Like lots and lots of golf carts. So you have to be very careful when you're driving because they kind of like drive the way they want. <laughs> they throw, yourself, I throw themselves in front of you. I'm not sure if they observe the traffic uh, laws or if maybe there's like, I've just never seen so many golf carts in one place that it freaks me out. But uh, they seem to, like, I'm surprised we didn't run into anything right now, because we usually do. Mm -hmm. Well, we hope you enjoyed this little drive from the campground to Walmart. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you've been to this campground before. What are some of your favorite things to do in this area? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.